so synthetic events is nothing but um actually react create uh, its own uh, its own event with the help of native browser events and it will help us to uh, easily use that event across all the browsers and we can reuse the uh, particular events again and again at each and every events will return the event object whenever you are uh, going to use that i will show you how the event is working okay. i'll jump into the code so in the session 4 i'm going to use um synthetic event just see i'm going to create as a functional component so create react react create functional component so synthetic event so this is synthetic event thing and i'm going to use a button or because i'm going to click and uh, uh, call one of the uh, event so that's called on click so here we can see on click if you are using a normal html at that time we are going to write like this on click and if it is a normal html then it should like this and we need to use functions here function name uh, like click uh, ha handle click even and you need to pass dollar even like this you need to like this you need to write in the html side normal html uh, applications but when you when you come to react js at that time they are creating uh, their own events uh, but those even their own events is nothing but uh, that will support all the browsers the similar events what are the events available in naturally the browsers can able to understand the same events they are creating the customized way in the normal uh, in the generic uh, naming conversions for example we having on click like this in in angle in react we have on click like this and if it is a on change like this then the, here we have on change so like this there are small naming convention uh, because uh, this is a gen, uh, they are creating customized events it should accept it should work across all the process some of the process can understand only click some of the process accept on click some of the process accept on click like this so that's what uh, react take call and they are creating its their own naming convention for the events and after that they are naming as a synthetic events so then this go back to code so we are using the button and in on click so this is a normal customer structure but when when you are using angular sorry react so we have the on click and after that put equal to and put the over brackets the brackets and after that what you need to do you need to use arrow function if you are using function component after the arrow function you need to use the your own function handle uh, click right so then you need to use you need to do the definition for handle click and you can do whatever you want here here are one things for example if you want to capture the synthetic events data so what are the things written from the particular event then you need to get the event or any kind of variable you can put e as, as well so we to see e and you can visit the e as well here and you can put console to see what are the things written from the particular event so this is one of the event uh, we are handling this event through this function and we are using what are the data we return from the particular on click and save it go back to the browser sorry i forgot to add it in the appendix file and it save it go back okay and see in console so we go back so we have the button uh, for synthetic event so just right click and inspect go to the console uh, just click this and you can uh, you can see uh, the written response so here you can see synthetic base event right so we are not specify anywhere synthetic base event in our code right so that's what i told this click even is a na nature for all the browsers but in the react side they are customized they are changing the naming convention and they are adding additional props for the particular events so that's what whenever you are clicking it's showing as a synthetic base event and inside that you can get uh, what are the properties available for the particular event and here you can see what type of synthetic base is this is a click event so this is actual na na uh, actual uh, native event name but this is the synthetic event which is created from react and they are naming as a react name as on click this is the name exactly we are using here right 
hope you understood how the uh, synthetic event is working behind the scene how react is uh, use the native event and how they are converting as a synthetic event okay so if you want to uh, if you want to see uh, where this click and see in event console if you want to see that then uh, uh, this will be event dot target you can see here even dot target so there is a name if you added any name for the button you can rotate from here um, here you can see the native event on click so temp on dot target dot text so so inside the target we have the text content that's what we are uh, seeing here so uh, what i what i what i explaining so with the help of synthetic event we can able to retrieve what are the props available for the particular uh, this button so the same thing you can see in the components and inside the synthetic event and you can see in the right hand side um, there is no props for that yeah uh, it's just a it's just a normal component so it doesn't show any of the button here but with the help of synthetic event you can capture all the data it is a small concept so there is an event so there are plenty of events so whenever we need we need to use at the time we can grab and use no need to mock up anything no need, no need to think too much about this thing so there are plenty of things so go and search in google you, you can get mul uh, multiple events like on click on change keyboard um, key down key press plenty of things and try to do everything